Honda, then again, has bounced in with the two feet following industry inclines and has swung to little dislodging turbo fours for its 2018 Honda Accord lineup, in addition to its very own hybrid. While a 2.0-liter turbo as the update and best level motor is just the same old thing new in the fragment, just a couple have swung to considerably littler turbo power plants for their purpose of section. The Accord's new base motor is a genuinely modest 1.5 liters in removal, yet the turbo appears early and must work additional time, since it produces 192 pounds to foot from as low as 1,600 revolutions per minute up to 5,000 at that point achieves its pinnacle strength at 5,500 revolutions per minute. The powertrain's best resource is productivity, and squeezes out as much as 38 miles for every gallon on the throughway in many trims, with 30 miles per gallon rating in the city and 33 consolidated, however with the 19-inch wheels and touring trim, that drops to 35 expressway, 28 city and 31 joined. Amid my week with the 1.5T Touring, we arrived at 27 miles per gallon, which is still genuinely useful for our driving conditions and the extra depleted of winter tires and icy climate. The new Accord tries to be somewhat more than only a suburban item machine and family carry, so you can flip between economy mode and sport, which hones throttle reaction and gives the CVT more room to climb the Revgo. It is faster and more responsive getting decent jump off the line thanks to that early torque, and big, 19-inch wheels should generate decent grip, the winter tires on our tester means it didn't have the same grip as all season or summer performance tires, but there really is very little joy in the process. This is not universal for Honda as a brand, however, because the Civic Type R has joy coming out of every vent and pipe and wing, it is literally oozing joy. The Accord can only go so far with that base engine and CVT combo, but Honda does offer a 2.0T Sport model that can be equipped with a manual transmission, so look to that if you want to rekindle driving joy in your family appliance. The ride is a shame considering the interior is otherwise so comfortable, with acres of legroom in back and even sufficient headroom despite the sleek roof line. The middle rear position is best used as the fold-down armrest, but the back row is still wide enough for an adult to squeeze between two car seats. Well, a small adult at least. The front seats are excellent, supportive and widely adjustable for different sizes, heated and cooled, heated steering wheel, two, plus two memory positions for driver's seat. The trunk space is generous, with an impressive 16.7 cubic feet and the seats split 60-40 in fold, with seat releases right in the trunk. This is about as good as it gets for practicality in a sedan. The main touchscreen infotainment screen is bright and crisp, with a home page that can be reconfigured with your most frequently used apps or functions. There are also additional screens for less popular systems that you might still want to reach without going through the deeper menus. There are also fixed buttons for the most common functions and pages, plus map, phone and audio, and a traditional volume and tuning knob means it's completely intuitive to scroll through menus or stations. Best of all, jumping between menus is quick enough to avoid any frustration, and I found the menu setup up intuitive and easy to learn. Visibility is quite good in all directions, but blind spot monitoring and lane keep assist also help relieve stress and fatigue in traffic, although the forward collision alert seemed overly nervous, beeping and flashing at the slightest approach, so you may want to dig through the settings to adjust it to a more mild setting unless you prefer maximum caution. Perhaps most impressive is that Honda has made so many of these features standard across the board. Even base LX models, at $23,570, plus $890 destination charge, include the convenience and safety benefits of forward collision warning with braking, lane departure warning, road departure mitigation and adaptive cruise with low speed follow. Some people might never do an ounce of research, but just walk straight to their nearest Honda dealership for their new Accord every five years, and Honda has given them every reason to continue that tradition. More discerning shoppers can put in the research hours and test drives, but those looking for a solid bet that is well-rounded in terms of practicality and affordability will likely end up with the Accord at the top of their list anyway. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.